Hello, purple lights. Welcome to your reading. You all wished on who you're gonna marry. So I know that this is your favorite reading. I have no idea why though. <laughs> but you all voted on that. So here we go. Um, these times I shuffled the piles. I pre-shuffled it, okay? But it's also random, so we don't know what comes out. And you guys know that the universe also always has a plan, okay? So make your choice. Pile one is... I hope you can see. Pile one is this beautiful ring. Okay. Piles two ring for today. They all have kind of a blue stone. Oh, not, not this one. Oh yeah, it does. It does a little bit. This is pile three. Okay, so choose your ring and this is part four. So please make your choice and then we'll see each other at the piles. Take care purple lights and we're gonna see who are you going to marry, yeah? So have a happy Christmas guys and I see you, bye. So hi pile one, you chose this beautiful ringy can you see it <laughs> it's cute so let's put it there ah that looks fine so let's see the cards who will you marry pile one so first of all we have the new beginning and a woman um i'm feeling that um i mean this child looks like a son. I'm feeling you, you, you're having a son with that person. Yay! <laughs> I'm all, I'm already doing prediction <laughs> for <laughs> for the gender of the child. <laughs> Let's see if that works out. You must tell me then. <laughs> wow. But definitely, it could also be that um, you are pregnant, and that's why you're gonna marry. Yeah. Um. I'm definitely feeling it's someone you have not met yet. Definitely feeling because the 13 is usually a new beginning, a new um, person that's coming into your life. Well, you could know them, but you haven't met them. Yeah. Okay. We have flowers. We have cocktails. We have, what is this? Is this a TV or something? <laughs> what is going on? Um... We have wine here, we have cocktails, um, we have flowers, um, clouds. Hmm. I'm feeling that you're enjoying your time with that person. I feel now that for some kind of reason, I'm feeling that you know them already and you're like you're drinking with that person. Like you're drinking cocktails already with that person. So it could be one of your friends or someone that is in your friend circle. That's what I'm feeling. Yeah, with the clouds here as well. Um, but your mind is clouded. Like you don't know that this is your future husband. So definitely this is someone you're going out with. Or you're having a fun time. Yeah. That's definitely what I'm getting in. Okay, let's see. Grew up in a better than average household. Okay, so there is um, the possibility. I mean, this is general reading, but that they um, come from a household or they, they have a better financial situation than you have, pile one, or their family is, you know. We have deal breakers. List and adhere to your deal breakers. The universe will support you staying true to you. This is someone that takes all your lists, all your boxes. Yeah, definitely. This is someone that you... Um, but you know that person already. But it's kind of like your mind is clouded. It's, like, it's kind of like I'm getting that you don't even think that they might be your future spouse. But they tick all your boxes, so you might know already who that is, right? Yes, marriage. Yeah, yeah. This is someone from your close circle. Could be your twin flame. Yeah, with the four of wands. Um, could be 
even someone who is a twin flame, but you are not their twin flame, but they are a twin flame actually. But what I'm seeing is that, look at this. Yeah, it could be that um, there is a child involved, that they already have a child or you already have a child. Or because the child is here, it could be someone that already has a child or... It could be that um, you're marrying because you're pregnant as couple. We have the Four of Cups. Let me see what this card is all about. Yes, you know this person. Like this card looks to me as if this person is right now in another committed connection. So they could have a child. They could be in another relationship right now. So it's kind of like you know this person and you're enjoying time with that person, but they're kind of with someone else at the moment. Yeah, they're kind of with someone else. So it could be someone that you know is from your friend group. Skunk spirit, know your worth. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling that um, right now they're not with you. And right now that's why you don't make a move um, because this person, like you know your worth. You know your worth. Um, you don't um, like it's kind of like you don't go in between because there's someone else involved. I feel here that's with the deal breakers also. I feel that there's someone else involved, and that's why um, you know you know your worth. You don't go in between that. You're waiting until your time comes, and that's that's what I'm seeing with that skunk. I also see that um, you have like kind of, you're very close to that person. So it could be a close friend. And with the skunk, I also feel that sometimes you don't like them. Like you have days where you're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like, it's kind of funny. So it could be as well your twin flame because that's, that's energies that go in between twin flames a lot. You know, sometimes they like each other and then like an energy wave is coming and you have no idea out of nowhere. You don't want to talk to them or, you know, it's strange. I mean, that's the dynamic of twin flames. It's always strange. No one really understands that. But <laughs> that's how it is, right? Those of us who are twin flames, you guys know. That's why maybe also the contract is here, you know? Because you are a deal breaker right now. You say, well, that's my twin flame. I don't want them right now. But you're still having, a, you still know them. You're still enjoying time with them for some kind of reason. But you keep them further away. Because you don't want to get too close. Because then you know, um, you know, this, there are these waves coming where you don't want to have contact. Or, you know, it's, it's very strange. But I'm feeling this wave here. So definitely this could be someone that <clears throat> you're annoyed kind of like at the moment. I'm not talking later on. At the moment, yes? You don't even think this person could be your person. Yeah, I mean, hiding your true self. There is a twin flame involved here, definitely. So either that person that you're marrying is actually a twin flame with someone else or you are their twin flame. That's the challenge card. Yeah, the challenge card is that there is a twin flame involved. So definitely it could be that, you know, there is someone else here involved. Or that person is a twin. I mean, it doesn't have to be a twin flame. Yeah, maybe there are two of them. <laughs> you know? Maybe you're going out with the, the other twin right now, but you're marrying the other twin. <laughs> I don't know what the universe is doing here. But the challenge is the twin here. The challenge is the twin. So I don't know what that is. It could be that your future spouse is actually a twin flame with someone else. Or your twin flame, yeah? But this is what's coming through. So I also want to see how you meet them. So let's see. How is Pile 1 meeting this future spouse of them? And I'm kind of getting like some tarot cards, okay. Mm -mm -mm. King of Pentacles, through work, definitely. Um, you could be their boss or they could, could be your boss. There is an, um, it could be an age gap that there is between the two of you, but there's definitely a gap of um, finances. And, you know, you guys have different households. That's definitely, there's a, mm, a gap in... How do you say that? 
when someone is of higher rank than you are like a boss you know like yeah you meet by destiny wheel of fortune it's like happening out of nowhere what else how are they gonna meet through another person there is another person involved and see and that's what i mean that's the challenge that we have two guys and it doesn't have to be um you know but i'm feeling this is the because here we also have a twin flame involved so it could be that um, there is another person there is someone else involved at the moment and this could be your friend or you know some kind of other person or a friend that introduces you but it happens out of nowhere it's like this friend one day is going look this is my new girlfriend and then you're like meeting them <laughs> if you are a guy well it depends you know <laughs> what else knight of wands yeah and i feel that um you could meet um through work or through some kind of sports um because the knight of wands sometimes stands for a sport event um but i'm feeling that you're very drawn you're passionately very drawn to that to your future spouse Please take it as it resonates, your future wife, your future husband, you know, whatever resonates with you, please apply it. But there is someone else involved in that, what I was, what I was seeing. Yeah, so it could be your twin flame that they are together with someone else at the moment. Yeah, but you still marry them and you get them to know them maybe through that person or that there is... That, but definitely there's a third party here. I'm definitely feeling there are, I mean, we have two guys here. So there's definitely someone else involved. So it could be that they are already married or it could be that they are in a relationship right now with someone else. And then that's why you draw back because you say, well, I know my worth and I'm not a deal breaker. I'm not. And that's why in the challenge, these two people that look alike hiding your true self, um, you hide that. It's like you have a secret crush on that person, but they are committed somewhere else. That's what I'm feeling. And that's why you don't make a move at the moment. You don't make a move, but you're very passionate about this person. You're very passionate, part one. You're very passionate. You're, you're very drawn towards that person, but there is someone standing in between the two of you at the moment. And that's why, you know, you have to wait for the new beginning. You have to wait till your person your future spouse your future wife or husband is free and um yeah i think that's what's going to happen because we're talking about your future spouse yeah so that's all what i'm having i hope you had fun merry christmas i love pal too so let's see you chose this beautiful ring i hope you can see it yeah you chose this beautiful ring so let's see who are you going to marry your favorite reading guys yay <laughs> so this time i pre-shuffled so let's see what's coming out we have the clouds and we have the stork okay so you don't know that person yet or it's someone that you are in separation with but um let me see. Yeah, it could be someone that you are in separation yet, but with the clouds and the stork, I feel you don't even know that you're going to marry that person. Like, it's coming out of nowhere. That's what I'm feeling. It's like the stork has come flying. So it's like you have no idea that you're going to end up marrying this person. You might know them, but we don't know. Let's see. Okay, this is a soul connection. I mean, if I see all these hearts and the angels... That's a cupid for me. Um, could be same-sex marriage. Just want to say that you know, in some countries, it is this is um, allowed, and we all love this to happen, you know. But what I'm feeling, it's uh, definitely someone that um, you love. Like you know, look at this big heart, and it's a present from the universe. So definitely, this is someone that you have. Um, a soul connection with this is someone that you will be or that this person will be either a soulmate of yours or your twin flame whatever your labels you put on that you know please apply that to your situation but this is definitely someone that you are on a string of fate with definitely 
someone that called you the other night, okay? So this could also mean if you don't know the person yet that you called for them. I just want to say that because the universe is also, you know, you, you know, you can call the universe for your special person. So you basically prayed for this the other night or this is like really a person that called you the other night but you don't think that you will end up marrying them we have cheers new beginning anniversary date celebration meeting new people happiness so this could also be someone that you're already dating okay so this could be someone that you're maybe having right now you are in no contact but you dated this person already this was an ex just want to say this, yeah, but this is um, like someone that you have a soul connection. Let me see. Oh, wow, the 17 and the star. Well, this is someone you hoped for and you prayed for. I definitely think that with called you the other night, um, it could either be that you are in contact with that person already. Um, this card also stands for Aquarius, you know, but this person is your hope. This person is the one you're waiting on. I really feel that you're hoping to meet this person or to hope to end up with them. But at the moment, maybe like with these clouds, I don't think that at the moment you are in contact, but something here is with called you the other night. Hmm, maybe this is an ex and you're hoping they come back or this is someone you call, you know, you're on a string of fate and you ask the universe that they bring this person into your life. Okay, so please apply it as it fits. Um two of swords yeah definitely mm, you are not in contact with that person or if you are then you guys are just in communication with the two of swords it could be that you're writing messages back and forth just want to say this because this card also stands for that that you with calling you the other night that you have conversations with them yeah you have like online dates with them where you like write each other but it doesn't have to be it could also be that there is a putt situation at the moment yet that you know there is no communication at all and you don't even see that this is your future spouse with the wasp spirit sometimes life stings yeah this could be someone that um could be your twin flame as well with this life stings um with a 10 here that um, I feel like there's something here that you have gone through with that person, with that life stings. You have lived through very hard situations with them. It's, it's almost like as if maybe it could be a friend as well that you're talking to and that is very loving and calling you and you have sub, um, co communication with that person. Because with that life stinks, I feel that you are with that person. You're talking about your problems with that person, I'm feeling. And that's why you don't even know them, though. What is this? <laughs> the challenging situation is, is this me? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> this is, look at this, yeah? We have the truth here. The challenging situation is... Um, you're kind of not knowing um, about your persona with that person. It's almost as if you have a strong connection with them, but sometimes, you know, as I always say, it could be that you're thinking this is your twin flame or you don't know if this is your twin flame or you feel a strong connection and you're asking maybe even the universe, well, is, is this my twin flame? Could this be? Um, could be could we be um, twin flames or could we be um, soulmates? Is this me? Um, also, um, the challenging situation is that um, maybe you have not shown them all parts of yourself. Yeah, maybe you're hiding parts of yourself with that person. You only show them one side with the two swords here. It could be that they. That your person or you guys, um, that you don't even know who that person is because it could be that someone is hiding their identity, maybe even. You know what I mean? This is very strange. I never had this. Hmm. 
Very interesting. Is this me? That's the challenging situation. I feel with this life stinks, there is conflict that you are in communication with that person about. So either you have conflict with them right now because you are in separation with that person and you want him back. Yeah, but you don't you don't recognize yourself because you act different around this person. Or it could be that, um, you know, you're only showing this person parts of yourself and you're asking yourself, why am I so different with that person? Yeah, you, you, you kind of are different with that person than what you usually are. Maybe, you know, sometimes um, you are someone that... Well, there's something here about the truth. I'm not gonna lie. With all these swords here, I'm feeling that your person or you are hiding the truth at the moment. I'm talking here about this at the moment. There's something here what's hidden. There's something here what's hidden. So either they hide the truth from you, pal two, or you hide the truth from them. There's something here that is, that's why the clouds are, that's why it's cloudy. That's why it's cloudy. So how are you gonna meet? Let's see. Or have you already met? And you can see who this is, maybe. How is Pal 2 meeting their future spouse? Seven of Swords. So definitely, there. this is someone who goes away. So this is someone who comes back. The world. Seven of Swords. You know, the Seven of Swords is um, there are lies involved on the internet. There is some kind of lie here that, and that's why is this me? It's like, this is interesting, Pile 2. Wow. You definitely, you're going to meet this person online. And I feel that you have good conversations and you might even be on calls or, you know, maybe you even haven't met, but you're talking with each other at the moment. And life stinks because maybe you cannot meet up. But definitely you met online and definitely there are lies involved here. King of Pentacles. This could be that you met through work or that, um, you know, that your future spouse is someone um, who is hiding their identity and it's someone known. Interesting. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. There is, there is definitely, this is about work. Definitely you either met at work or you met in a family situation. You know, the King of Pentacles sometimes um, could be an older friend or a father that is involved. You could meet through a family gathering. But what I'm definitely feeling is that... Um, I'm definitely feeling that you, you meet online before. Yeah, like there's definitely lies involved. Maybe this person is even married with the King of Pentacles. Maybe this person, or is this me? Um, they are your twin flame, but they are not telling you this. This could be as well that you are asking yourself, well, why are we so similar? Maybe because you might be in communication with that person, but they're not telling you that actually they are your twin flame. That's interesting. What's going on? There are definitely lies involved about the identity here, what I'm seeing. That's how you guys meet. And on the world, it means that you live separ like you live apart, you know? This is so interesting. But with the Ten of Pentacles, it's like um, when you find a treasure, you know? This is like a treasure chest. This is like they found you. Maybe they found you on the internet. Interesting. This could be one of our famous divine counterpart. I'm not gonna lie because I have it here. This could be one of them disguising their identity. Interesting. Yep. Hmm. That's all what I'm having, guys. I hope you like this reading. I hope you have fun. And I'm saying bye. Hello, Pile 3. You chose this beautiful ring. I hope you can see very well. Like, look at this. Beautiful, right? So, let's see. 
your favorite reading who are you going to marry so let's see first card and this time i um you know i took the cards first like i pre-shuffled we have a writer and we have what is this a house okay that's someone that's coming to your house this is interesting someone that's coming to your house Aha, maybe for a date <laughs> let's see what else well we have the rainbow we have um, a compass you're looking for the true north that's about finding your home that's a fight that's about finding and with a rainbow that's about finding the one and yeah and the writer is number one so the one coming to your home that's your one you're marrying your number one <laughs> that's like a crush that's like a crush and that you find them and they're coming to your home let me see what is this this is fun has an odd numbered birth here odd numbered isn't that um 76 for example yeah an odd numbered birth year interesting ha huh. okay interesting let's get more stay staying in night in your space see a moment alone a partner is busy free time or mental vacation interesting this means that you're um you know you're meeting them when you and them are single both of both of you are single yeah and for some kind of reason i'm feeling that you know you guys like they come to your place whatever your place is they come to your place oh my gosh wow the sun could be your divine counterpart with the sun because the sun always speaks of the divine masculine you know so it could be someone that is very masculine it could be someone that is enlightened and it brings you happiness basically i'm seeing this as someone who brings you happiness and very very passionate encounter so this could also mean this is someone that you have a passionate encounter with and you don't when you think single and you don't even think that you're going to marry this is interesting right <laughs> hmm wow oh no way guys that's a divine counterpart i'm not gonna lie like two sons could be two masculine energies yeah but i'm definitely feeling um that's like um like that's the same person like that's a twin flame for me like two of the same like what the f like you know they're in a tarot deck there are 78 cards there's like two different tarot decks two different tarot decks wow and that's why defining them is there because this is someone you have a very very strong soul connection and i'm even feeling twin flame you are the same as this person so um both of you meet i feel here while um, being single and you find each other it's basically um, I'm feeling one of you comes to the other oh the groundhog yeah time to let go I feel here it's a moment in time where you know um, in twin flames it's important to let go it's important this this moment of energy to be okay with whatever is happening and I feel it will be a time where both of you are okay with how your lives go. Both of you are very happy. Both of you have your own life, you know. Um, that's why both of you are very happy. You know, the sun is shining on both of you people. So I'm feeling that, uh, you know, both of you could be successful. Um, this could as well be that these are two um, successful people, yeah. Each one is successful on their own. And you guys meet up just to have fun. Maybe just to have this sexual encounter. Maybe. I don't know. But there is this love at first sight feeling here with a groundhog. Because a groundhog is like, you know, it's like hugging. It's like, um, yeah. 
it's interesting. It could be that even both of you come out of relationships and that's why time to let go is there and that you are single for some time and you just let go. You just say, well, whatever is fine. I'm, I'm stable and independent on my own. I'm fine on my own, you know. That's what I'm feeling as well. The challenging situation is queen of my world. Hmm. Yeah, I feel the challenging situation is that each of you will be um, very independent on their own and have lived a long time on your own. Yeah, with the queen of my world. It's like finally you find the one. Yeah, it's like finally you find the one. Finally you come together. But then it's like, um, oh my gosh, you know, she's the queen of my world. She's actually the one or he's the one I've been looking for my whole life. But I'm independent on my own. I'm my own queen of my world, you know. How should the two of us fit together? That's like um, the challenging challenging situation here is to both of you have to kind of mix your independences together because each and every one of you is a very independent um, person I feel it's like you both are on your own yeah that that's what I'm feeling both of you are very um, happy on your own you're fine you're having a good time and a challenging situation could be queen of my world it could be that there is someone else involved but I don't think so I think this is like the independence that both of you are like kind of standing there and saying, well, we want to be together, but we also don't want to give up our independence. So how, how are we managing it? Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. But you will. I mean, that's your future spouse, right? Your future um, woman or, or husband. Please take it as fit. So let's see how you're going to meet. Very interesting part three. Please also know that, you know, these things, uh, this is a general reading. It does not have to mean that they are born in an odd numbered birth year. It could be that you already know when your twin flame is born and they are not in an odd numbered birth year, but could be. Yeah, just want to say this. Okay, we have the nine of wands. How are you going to meet part three? How are they going to meet page of swords? Nine of Wands, I feel that you're single for a while. Yes, that's coming through strong. You're single for a while and the Page of Swords is like um, in a situation where you look through um, the internet. The Page of Swords is someone that's, that's like a stalker sometimes, you know. It's like you're stalking the internet and that's when you see them maybe on Instagram or I don't know. The Hangman. Yeah, I also feel that you're not even looking for a relationship. You meet this person when you're single and you're fine and you're happy. And maybe that's why, you know, I see that you guys just meet up for a passionate encounter. Because maybe you don't even look for someone. Yeah, Knight of Wands. That's the sex card. <laughs> you know, sometimes in tarot. That means you're just going there to have fun. But you, you hang in there. You you have no idea that this is actually the um, universe giving you this epiphany with this person. You know, that, um, yeah, this could really be that you're looking for someone to have a good time with and you're just looking through the internet and then you see this person and you're like, wow, you know, that's the queen of my world. Let's go. <laughs> Let's meet up and have a fun time. And then you kind of fall in love, I feel, here. Yeah, it's like out of nowhere. It's like you don't even think of a, having a relationship. You don't even want. This is very surprising here. You don't even want a relationship, I'm feeling. No, that's how you're going to meet. Very surprisingly, out of nowhere, while you're looking through the internet. That's what's coming through with the Page of Swords. I'm definitely... You're checking out something. That's where you meet them. But not with a sense of meeting someone. Maybe you... You don't even looking for someone, yeah? You're not even looking. Very interesting pile three. So that's all what I'm having. Merry Christmas. Hello, pile four. So let's see, who are you going to marry? You chose this beautiful ring. I hope you can see it if I give you a close up. Yeah, beautiful. So I already pre-shuffled this time the pile. So let's see your favorite reading. Who are you going to marry? 
let's look into this. Please note this is a general reading and it doesn't have to be, you know. This is someone religious. Oh my gosh. What is this universe? Wow, this could be an X with the um, coffin here. This could be um, a vampire. <laughs> Just want to say this. <laughs> because why is there... Oh my gosh, what is going on universe? Never seen the, these two cards together, like the cross and the coffin. Like, who are you going to marry? My gosh, this could be someone who's a widow. Someone who has lost someone, like their partner. But it could also be, um, yeah, someone that you you know is an ex someone that is an ex let's see what the cards say what are those oh my gosh look at this it could also be someone from your past because i see egypt here someone from your oh my gosh why is this look at this the x-rays here the moon could be your counterpart i mean what the f is this <laughs> Yeah, what the F is this? Wow. There's something here with the moon. You, this is darkness also, and this is night. You're spending night times maybe with that person because I'm um, with a cross and with the night, maybe no one can see you. Because this, this shows me like this hiding also, like, you know, like vampires can only exist in the darkness at night and with the moon here and, and this, 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 like, what the F? Could be that you're, you're now, I know this person, you're spending nights with them. What does this comes from overseas? So definitely someone from another country. What the heck is this? And look at all these pl dark blue. Everywhere dark blue. Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise, invitation or meeting. Hesitation. Yeah, definitely you, you meet this person when it's dark. And a Cupid arrow, that means that you're destined to meet this person. You're destined to be with them. You're destined to marry them. Definitely. You're destined you definitely had a past life in Egypt with this Egypt and and I'm feeling also that there's some kind of knowledge involved with the Egyptian pyramid here something about well it could be that there's Africa involved because Egypt is in Africa but I'm definitely feeling that um, this is someone that you share knowledge with maybe at night maybe you talk to that person Oh, wow, that's temptation. Look at this card. You're very tempted to that person. They're very hot. It's like I definitely think that you've spent nights together. You meet them at nights and you're very tempted. Like, look at this. It's like he's like giving her this drink and tempting her. What are you doing, Pelfour? <laughs> what are you guys doing? I definitely feel look this looks like a vampire couple. <laughs> like look at this, like the perfect um that's like the perfect owl. <laughs> that's like what the hell is this? That's like definitely you guys have a fun time meeting at night. You're tempting each other at night. What is this? Ace of Pentacles. Definitely, um, this is a new star. Look at this, there is the moon involved again. This is someone that you have not been in a relationship with. This is a new relationship, okay? So you might be with that person together now at night, but you don't have a relationship. You're either just having a fun time with them or you're tempting each other or you're having sex with each other. I don't know what's going on, but you're spending nights together, but you're destined to meet. But you're hiding. It's almost like as if you're looking for the night to meet up. But you've never been in a relationship with that person. Um, and I feel also with this Ace of Pentacles, you know, it's the Ace always. It's like the best. 
Um, so what I'm seeing here, this could be what's coming also through is your first it's like the one you know when i see this big pentacle it's like you meet and first you're just playing around and you're having fun and you're you know you're hiding and you're meeting secretly maybe and then this this big ace hits you know like boom um oh my gosh this is the one that's the one i want yeah this is what's coming through we have the lizard spirit dream the world into being that's so funny why are all those cards coming out? That's so funny. Yeah, look at this. Dream the world into being. That's why you're tempting each other. I'm feeling here that um, definitely you're destined to meet with Cupid. And then we have number 11. Number 38. You could be 30 year, year, 38 years old or they could be 38 years old. But definitely, I think, with this number 11... And with a lizard, that's fire. It's fire again. I see here this temptation, the fire. You're, you're very drawn to that person, but it's like someone you have to hide or you're hiding from even. What is this? Maybe you're so, you, you are like hiding from this person because you you're like know that you're destined to to <laughs> be with them. And you're like at the moment, I mean. At the moment, you're like maybe hiding. That's like funny. Uh, it's like, maybe that's why the coffin is here. Maybe it was a burden for you because you always had to hide. I just want to say this because this is what could be true. It could be that this is your one person and you know that and you tempted each other. But um, you're now hiding from that person um, because you know you're destined. You, you could see through that with the x-ray. I feel that you could see through that person. Interesting. What is the challenge? I want to read this. Look at this. Number 28. Purchants to dream. Look at this. We have dream twice. And then we have the, um, the, the coffin sleeping you know dreaming sleeping so definitely mm, you could meet this person in dream i feel the um the challenge is here to see i want to read this though but i feel the challenge is to see the possibility because i'm feeling that this temptation was too much for you or for your person please apply it as it fits by four but i'm seeing here that this temptation was too much let me see number 28 what this is all about very interesting what the f it says if i sleep long enough when i wake up the pain will have been gone you see this that's the same here it's this pain there's pain involved because maybe you come from overseas maybe you cannot be together maybe you have to hide maybe you can only meet at night I don't know, but there is a sense of forbiddenness here. It's the time to surrender, to drown, to dive in headfirst in the cozy darkness of the blanket. Look at this. I mean, that's all the same. Look. One second, one minute, not like a hero fighting the world, but like a kid just welcoming the darkness outside within fully. How long will the moment last? A minute, we can say, just a minute, but it's not true. Disappearing is but an instant, just a time to take a breath twice, and yet it can take ages. Ages we will regret. And yet we close our eyes. That's temptation. We, we let one sense after the other slow down to nothing. Sight first, then hearing and smell. Last will be touch. The f comforting hands we all deserve. That's denial. <laughs> that, that's denial you or your person are denying this this um love definitely for one of you it's a burden at the moment okay so you know definitely before you know who that is you know that who, if this is your person it's like you know this is your one but you're denying it you you know this is your one but the temptation is too much for you you want to dive in and you want to, um, you know, there's some kind of forbiddenness here. Let's see how you will meet this person. 
or how you met. I think you already met. Let's see. Because um, this could be an ex that's denying the whole thing or that ghosted or that um, that's hiding from you, path four. How did you meet? Because I think you already know who that is. Or how will you meet? Let's see. With the hermit, one of you could be a Virgo. But the hermit is you discovered. Like you met because you found each other. You met because you're destined with a Cupid. You're destined. Yes, sleepless nights. Um, there is a lot of temptation and um, fears involved. Could be a soul connection coming through very straight. Yes, the lovers, twin flame. Yes, the lovers. Def oh my gosh. And the hierophant. I was just looking and then this card just fell out. Definitely this is your twin flame or divine counterpart. You're destined to marry them. With the, the lovers and the hierophant, that's marriage of the divine counterparts. That's what we all want, right? For divi divine feminines, we're longing for such a connection to, to, to end up actually marrying our divine counterpart. And that's what destined, that's what's destined here for this connection. But there are a lot of fears involved and a lot of walking through darkness, a lot of denial. So um, there's a spiritual journey here involved. So I, path four, you're definitely gonna marry your twin flame or your soulmate. That card just moved. I did not do anything. Oh my gosh. Um, definitely this is someone that you already know. Definitely this is you know of that, that this person is your divine counterpart. Um, you're tempted, so you could have had an encounter with them. And you're in separation right now. Maybe that's why the coffin is here. Or one of you is hiding from the other. Because it's too temptress. And they are too fearful. <coughs> yep. Definitely. Oh wow. Pi 4. That's gorgeous. Well I really love that it's ending up in marriage. I mean the two cards here tell me this. And of course. I mean we're talking about your future spouse Pi 4. But. One of the things is that this is the first card came out, the spiritual journey. You cannot move that faster or slower. It's going its own path. You have to work on your fears, Path 4. Okay. This is about working. Both have to work on your fears, especially the one that's denying. The denying part has to work on their fears. Definitely. Definitely. Wow. Very interesting. <laughs> I love this. Take care. Bye.